A growing number of countries as well as international bodies are condemning North Korea's recent missile launch. This includes UNSC sanctions on Pyongyang with Washington sending a draft resolution on that subject to Beijing. Oh Jung-hee zooms in on the responses triggered by the regime's ICBM test. Almost 50 countries and international organizations have condemned North Korea's recent launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile. According to South Korea's foreign ministry, as of Sunday, 46 countries, including China, Japan and Russia, as well as the European Union, NATO and the UN, have made a statement or an announcement condemning the North's missile test. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, has described the regime's latest launch as hugely dangerous, saying the regime's missile development has reached a new stage. She also pointed out that the North's most important ally, China, needs to play a bigger role, or the Trump administration could put more pressure on Beijing. We're going to push hard not just on North Korea. We're going to push hard on other countries who are not abiding by the resolutions and not abiding by the sanctions against North Korea. And we're going to push hard against China. According to several U.N. diplomats, negotiations between the U.S. and China have already begun, with the U.S. sending China a draft of a new U.N. Security Council resolution that would impose further sanctions on Pyongyang. The U.S. and China have traditionally negotiated sanctions on North Korea before officially making it public to other member states, though the U.S. informally talks to Britain and France and China to Russia. How strong the sanctions will be and how long it will take for a new resolution to be adopted are the key issues being discussed. Ever since Pyongyang conducted its first nuclear test in 2006, it has taken longer and longer for the UN Security Council to adopt a new sanctions resolution, taking 82 days to adopt a resolution after Pyongyang's fifth nuclear test in 2016. As of now, the U.S. is considering restricting the flow of oil to North Korea's military and weapons programs, increasing air and maritime restrictions, and imposing targeted sanctions on senior officials. But it may take a while for the U.S. and China to reach to an agreement, as China doesn't want sanctions to shake up the whole North Korean regime. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.